Thank you. From Reuters. China's decision to press ahead with the national security legislation for Hong Kong has rattled markets and provoked threats of retaliation from the US, including the possible removal of Hong Kong's special trade status. Is China concerned that Hong Kong's position as a global financial hub could be undermined? And what will China do to preserve investor confidence in Hong Kong? Thank you. Lu Tose, China decided to push the Hong Kong national security law. 这震动了市场，可能导致美国采取报复措施，包括取消香港特殊贸易地位。这引发了人们对其未来作为全球金融中心的担忧。中方是否担心香港作为全球金融中心的地位会因此受到损害？中方将如何维护投资者对香港的信心？这件事情目前引起了各方的关注。This matter has caught. Attention from many quarters, but the competent central authorities have clearly stated China's position, and the Hong Kong SAR government has issued a statement in support of that position, and the NPC deputies and Members of the CPPCC National Committee from Hong Kong have also clearly voiced their support. But now that you've asked about it, let me make clear a certain things. First of all, Hong Kong affairs are China's internal affairs and allows no external interference. No interference as a basic norm of international relations must be observed by all countries. Second, the central government is responsible for upholding national security in China, as is the case in any other country. Through Article 23 of the Basic Law, the central government authorizes the Hong Kong SAR to fulfill its constitutional responsibility by enacting laws on its own. The authorization, however, does not prevent the central government from establishing a legal system and enforcement mechanisms for safeguarding national security in light of the actual situation and needs. The central government holds the primary and ultimate responsibility for national security in all sub-national administrative regions. This is a basic theory and practice underpinning national sovereignty and a common practice in countries around the globe. Third, since the turbulence over proposed legislative amendments last June, we have seen increasingly rampant activities by Hong Kong dependence organizations and radical localists in Hong Kong, escalating violence and terrorist activities, as well as excessive unlawful foreign meddling in Hong Kong affairs. All this has placed national security in serious jeopardy and posed a grave threat to Hong Kong's prosperity and stability and the practice of one country, two systems. Under such circumstances, establishing a legal system and enforcement mechanisms for safeguarding national security in the Hong Kong SAR has become a pressing priority. We must get it done without the slightest delay. Fourth, the MPC decision targets a very narrow category of acts that seriously jeopardize national security and has no impact on Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy, the rights and freedoms of Hong Kong residents, or the legitimate rights and interests of foreign investors in Hong Kong. Instead of becoming unnecessarily worried, people should have more confidence in Hong Kong's future. A legislative process will be set in motion following the adoption of the NPC decision. This will improve Hong Kong's legal system and bring more stability, stronger rule of law, and a better business environment to Hong Kong. It will protect the basic principle of one country, two systems, and Hong Kong's position as a global financial, trading, and shipping center. I trust that it will receive understanding and support from all those who wish to see a stable Hong Kong and a sound and sustained implementation of one country, two systems.